Knick knack, patty whack, give a dog a bone. This old man went rolling home. Give a dog a bone. Backwards land. Give a god a. Uh, you know, bone spelled backwards. Bone is an interesting word. The reason it's an interesting word, B O N E, has all the numbers about the celestial sphere. All about this. It, bone symbolizes the earth. <clears throat> o is the 15th letter, N is the 14th letter. Hey, look! One vertical line, five horizontal lines make 14 sections with the Vesca Pisces in two circles. 14 and 15 is 29. Plus E, 5, fifth letter. 34. 34 is a circle 33. And then B is a 2. Two additional circles around the 33. So now you have triply circled 33. And that's what bone means. Now when I think of bones in relationship to our celestial sky, the only constellation that we have two of is the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper, each consisting of seven stars. Wow, that's Game of Thrones code. Because you need to make a seven-pointed star to make a seven-pointed star to make an icon, which is 15. Seven plus seven plus one. So when you, if you were to take the both dippers and connect them at the handles, it would kind of look like a bone. You know, like one side has a chunk and then a line and then a chunk. And you'd have seven stars connecting with seven stars, but really two would be overlapping, so you'd have 13. So you'd have one of seven of 13. Actually, you have two of seven of 13. Or one of seven of 13. And 110, you have a dot, a dot in the line, which is, again, 100 upside down backwards and flip that, 110. So the Big Dipper and Little Dipper connected by the handle, where two stars overlap, would be a representation of one of seven of 13 of 110. And the word bone is a representation of a 33 circled three times, which is a representation of, you know, man as not 15, but 30th dimensional beings. 30, 30th with three circles around it, because we have this side of the coin, that side of the coin, and balance. So 15, 30, 31, 32, 33. Reminds me of the movies where they have things tattooed on their knuckles. I'm on a mission from God. I think Elwood T. Blues, or whatever his name is, has Elwood tattooed on his, you know, 1 of 14, 2 of 14, 3 of 14, 4 of 14 knuckles. So. Knick knack, patty whack, give a dog a bone. This old man went rolling home. Is it rolling home? I don't need a telescope, Kirk. <laughs> like, I don't... I don't care how the light looks when the observer is closer to the light. I don't... It doesn't interest me. I just... Once you know it bends, it doesn't really matter. Let's just accept it. It's just a point of view. Um, like, I've had this in my head for some time now, guys. Like, a lot of it. I just haven't been able to find a way to put it all together coherently. So, maybe that's why I look like shit all the time. Being perma-mind-blasted is arduous. I forgot to talk about the colors. The colors when I drew the black circle around the V and then it became a blue circle and a red circle around the Vesca Pisces. The, the black line becoming a one. So I should have been using a violet sharpie and a red sharpie because that's the rainbow bridge. It is the violet connecting to red, which is a rainbow bridge of all the colors of so seven colors, seven chakras, which you take to join cellular earth that we live on the flatness plane of our reality and existence and traverse the rainbow bridge to the knowledge of the light of heaven that's the rainbow bridge okay 
And think of it this way. You have a red, you have a blue circle, a red circle, okay? But the, all that stuff is in a two-dimensional plane of sheet of paper, and then you're watching it on your screen. And there's like four barriers, you know? You have the N, cellular Earth, the N, cellular Earth, the N plus one, the V circle, which is cellular Earth from a different point of view, upside down, backwards, and flipped. You have M plus two, which is flat Earth, and you have M plus three, which is ball Earth. So, yeah, ruled by Saturn, four.